Hey guys, I'm Alana from Win Win and One Job, and welcome to this month's uh, One Job special, I guess. Well, I've actually got a special guest with me. This one is called Tame the Tax Man. And if you're watching it right now, this is the information. When I first started working in the mining industry all those years ago in 2001, I wish I would have known to set yourself up properly so that you're not stuck in the mining industry forever and so that you can like minimise your tax and also potentially use it to invest in property is what I think is one of the most amazing things. To find out all this information for you guys, I've actually gone out and sourced a, um, a somebody who's a specialist in this. So I'm pleased to introduce to you my guest today. His name is Jesse Gardner. He has been working in the real estate industry for about 20 odd years. He is the CEO of Property Investment for Miners, and uh, he is a senior property investor. Is that correct? Did I get that last part right, Jesse? Senior property investment advisor. Yeah. So Jesse basically specialises in exactly that, helping people, especially who are in the mining industry, to minimise their tax and also help them to set themselves up to invest in property. And, uh, yeah, Jesse, welcome today. Thank you so much for having a chat with my members and uh, anyone who might be watching this at the moment. Let's go, Jesse. What have you got for us today? What a warm welcome. Thank you so much. And it's great to be here. Um, as you know, I've done up a presentation. I'll um, take your team through it right now. So just let me just share my screen. So... Guys, we can think of this as a bit of a video training session. So this is how you turn all this around, get everything firing with a five-step um, Miner's Road to Wealth plan. First thing you need to do is sit down with, with your partner or by yourself, talk through things like your lifestyle goals, your financial goals, where you are now, where you want to go, what types of investment risk um, that you're comfortable with as a family. Um, so, for example, you know, like a lot of my miners want to get rid of the stress of working away from home for the tax man. They might want to end up with a plan to get out of FIFO within a certain period of time. So you need to set goals and timelines around this to, to bring comfort back into your, into your FIFO life. You need to know where you're going and when you want to get there. You need to get really clear on what types of strategies are going to suit you based on that outcome, based on where you need to go. You always need to start planning with the end in mind and um, reverse engineer it back to today. And that, that basically will tell you what sort of properties you need to start thinking about. Yeah, I think this is that stage is really, really important as well for, let's say, like my niece is 20 years old. She's just got her first FIFO job. She is now earning a, a lot of money. So reverse engineering that and actually having that solid plan, I think would be a way it'll give her something to work towards as well because she's already talked about um, getting into property, which is amazing. Absolutely. And, yeah, what a great age to start, 20. I've got a lot of clients yeah. in their 20s um, and, you know, like uh, a couple that are on property number three um, that I've yeah. helped them just quickly go bang, 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 and they're like, oh, wow, by the time I'm 35, I'm done. I keep saying that's what I wish I'd have done. I went out there like two weeks after I turned 18, and then next minute, like, I was like, I mean, I had a break, you know, went travelling and did whatever. Then I bought my first property at about 25, I think, and then it ended up selling it. Now it's worth, like, triple the amount. It's like, oh, God damn it, why did I do that? <laughs> so, yeah, very important to do this. Yeah. So... Once you're both on the same page, you get what the main accelerators are that you need to have in place. You can then look at specific strategies that will help uh, meet the objective. So, um, for example, if tax is a major issue, you can do cash modelling on strategies that give you huge depreciation um, against your income. So, I mean, it's the numbers that bring all this to life. If you remove emotions and just focus on the numbers, um, and look at the different strategies side by side, you can easily see the impact that a strategy is going to have for you. It looks a bit, I know it looks a bit messy. That's our software. There's software that you can get that, that can, that's quite easy. You can get the software and, and pump in all the numbers and it'll show you uh, annually, weekly, how the property is going to perform. But, I mean, you can do it with a pen and paper and a calculator once you know how it works. So word of caution Guys, if you don't do this properly and you don't dig into the numbers, you automatically start making decisions based on emo uh, emotions instead of logic and data, which is that's where we see people, people waste um, years of their life 
and it keeps you on the ground for longer. So once you've chosen the strategy that's best suited to your, to your plan and your comfort level, you can then look at emerging markets around the country and start to shortlist properties that fit the strategy. So in the shortlisting process, do research on things like the demographics of the area, the employment, predominant type of employment, population growth, percentage of rental properties. You can get all this stuff from websites like Census, Real Estate Investor, places like realestate.com and, and others have a lot of this stuff as well. But dig around and figure out who are the tenants there, what's their average income, what type of property do they want. A massive driver is going to be its position, the property's position within its own unique capital growth cycle is over 4,000 markets. They all move at different times. So you want to enter the market at the right time um, and chase the infrastructure. So things like new train lines, new hospitals, new universities, whatever that is, things like the Olympics um, and population growth in, in Brisbane is a classic example of this. Finish your plan and implement. Once you've uh, selected a property or properties, you then can then start making offers and, and try and make stuff happen. If it's a secondhand property, always make sure you get a local building inspector to get it looked at um, so you know if there's anything majorly wrong with it. If it's a new property, get your own independent quality assurance along the way. To, so someone's going in and looking at the different stages of construction to make sure You've got your own rep representation there on the ground. You don't need to be there. It's very easy to do it interstate. And new property is the way to go for interstate investments. And, you know, everything's under warranty. You get the best tenants in the market. Um, you get the best rent. And as we said before, you need to be the first owner to get all the depreciation. So key part of your plan, uh, look for opportunities for new property or build something yourself. Once you've got a deal across the line, interview some property managers over the phone, get quotes on insurance, contact BNT to get a depreciation schedule. Uh, and serve your employer with a PAYG variation. This form instructs your employer to take less tax from you each week so that you get all the tax benefits up front. So you literally clear more each week and pay less tax in real time. Once you've done all this, produce it as a document with everything in the same place. You've gone through all these steps. Make sure that it's um, that it's in in one document. It should cover everything that you've done and have timeframes in it for reviews um, so that you know that once um, the property reaches X value or the rent equals X, it's then that's the trigger for you to go off and expand and, and, and go into the next part of the plan. Finally, always do regular reviews of your portfolio. You need to be constantly checking the values, interest rates, insurance, rents, Make sure everything's working um, and being maximised along the way. Subtle little changes make a massive impact over time. Um, so be really diligent with this, guys, and, and keep an eye on it. Well, let's get real, Jesse. This seems like a lot of work for a time-poor life of worker. Is there, what's the easiest way for them to, like, put all this together, like buy the software, you know, spend all this time? You'd think that you actually knew what, what was the next slide because it's funny you should ask. <laughs> How do you get a uh, property investment for miners to do it all? So, guys, for us to really help you and be worth your while um, exploring, you're going to need, as we said, around 100K in cash. Some can do it for 70, 80 uh, or 150K in equity in your home. The reason this varies is because obviously it depends on other things like your income and other debts and stuff that you have. You need a fairly cranky. Fairly clean credit reports so and nothing too drastic. You need minimal personal debt. So a credit card or two or car or two is generally fine. Um, just don't have 150K worth of car loans and small income because you'd be, you'd be capped out. Um, a good attitude and you'll need to do a free Miner's Road to Wealth strategy session with me um, so that we can have a look at your situation properly and see whether we can actually help. Yeah, and to me, that sounds like the easier option, especially if you're working FIFO. You come back for your one-week r and you've got limited time, you've got to do this, that, and the other. So you can book it now. Uh, there'll be a link somewhere in the comments, somewhere around this video, depending on where you're watching it. 
Um, but it's a 45-minute Zoom session. We get to know your situation a bit um, because really what's important is that we show you how our five-step plan would actually work for you in your personal situation. So that's what makes it come to life. You need to um, you need to have your um, your goals and, and life plan factored in to it so that you can actually see how it would work and come away with a clear direction on what your options are when it comes to investing. If um, we think we're a fit, if we think we can help um, and then we can implement our plan for you, um, jump in this calendar somewhere near this video, email us at hello at propertyinvestmentforminers.com.au or call us on 1300 812298 and um, we'll be in touch. Uh, but you can just book your own time on the calendar um, and, and just and show up to Zoom according to that. And again, it's free. So if all of that seems like a too hard basket situation, which I know that I'd be like, yeah, nah, <laughs> I'd rather have somebody else to kind of like talk, talk me through it who knows exactly the right questions to ask and how to really drill down to get to the what the goals are and how you can achieve them in a in a realistic way, especially if you're a time for minor. Um, but I guess, look, what I'd say is, you know, um, to know for sure where you are and, and what your options are, it takes 45 minutes. You can give us a call and have a quick chat, but for us to get it meaningful and give you some real um, feedback on, on where you are and where you, you know, what you can do, it takes us about 45 minutes. Um, it is a free session. Um, one thing I know for sure of people that I speak to is if you wait another year, you'll wish you did it today. So just jump in there and organise it now. Yeah, 100%. I wish I did it 23 years ago. So, Jesse, thank you so much for your time today. Really appreciate it. All the links are going to be underneath this or attached somewhere around this video. And uh, feel free to just book in with it. Love having a chat and coming to visit you and your audience alone. So sing out anytime if you can help with anything. Amazing. Thank you so much, Jesse. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one job um, session and uh, feel free to get in contact with myself or my team if you need help getting into your uh, next or your first or next FIFO job. And of course, hit up Jesse to book in for that free 45 minute session. Jesse, thanks so much for your time today. And uh, yeah, have an awesome one. I'll chat to you soon. Everyone take care.